Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Rex here with Carpentry Plus. I'm here today to share with you a video we put together of our built-in process. I've been asked uh, a few times to share this process and never really had um, enough footage of an entire build to put something together. So um, this time I did, I think. Um, just some time-lapse videos and some different explanations of different aspects of our processes. And we put that together in this video for you. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you find it useful and don't forget to subscribe. We start our process on the drawing board, or in this case on the computer using SketchUp software. First off, we get our rendering put together. Then we move on with our drawings of the individual cabinets with all of their face frame parts, dimensions, etc. And we move on with writing up a cut list. We do that by hand, just using a simple spreadsheet. Getting all of our parts listed out and ready to go there. Once we've got our plans together, we get things started at the table saw. Ripping all of our boards to rough width, leaving them just a little bit wide to give us room to clean up the saw marks when we're done. And we do that over at the thickness planner, run everything through a couple times on each side, get rid of those saw marks. We also run everything through on its thickness just to clean everything up. Then we're off to the miter saw, cut all of our parts to the length. Here you can see a few of our pieces cut, some of the joinery going into them. I wanted to take a minute to show you this action column on our cut list. That's where we notate what each piece will get, whether that's a dado or pocket screws, or how many pocket screws or how many ends or sides or whatever that may be. That just helps keep our thoughts organized and so we know what each piece is getting as it's being cut. So once they're all cut, then they'll go through those different processes getting their dados cut and pocket screws drilled and the preparations made for the joinery. Next up is our face frame assembly. We've got a much more in-depth video of this process already up on YouTube, so feel free to check that out. And then we're back over to the table saw to cut up all the parts, all the sides and bottoms and stretchers for our cabinets and bookshelves. And we're back over at the assembly table, putting the cabinet together. We cover this in more detail in another video, but we basically start with our face frame laying face down and start building the cabinet to the face frame. It's a process that's worked out well for us for years, so why change it? This particular built-in is getting a painted countertop. So we're at the table saw cutting up our parts for that. Getting our links cut. We'll assemble back at the assembly table, gluing our pieces together over our top layer, flipping it over, adding some reinforcements to the bottom, adding a face frame to the front. Get everything all sanded up. And here's how it turned out. We'll do a little bit more sanding on it before it goes into paint, but you get the idea for now. All right, so at this point in our built-in process, you can see we've got our cabinets built, countertop, our bookshelves are all upright and together. So at this point we have essentially Completed our cut list here, all our diagrams, all of our parts are cut. So at this point, I will switch over to basically a clipboard and a list, making a list of the remaining items to complete, which are, you know, shelves. Um, I've got our doors, which that's on the cut list, and those are right there. We'll get those together tomorrow, but uh, our doors, uh, we've got some base trim to make up as well as some uh, crown molding to make up and some other odds and ends, shelf pinholes and things like that. So um, once we get our 
unit built, we kind of pause and regroup, and that's where we're at now. A little time lapse of our door assembly. We've got a full video on uh, door fabrication already up on YouTube if you want to check that out. But I wanted to include it in this full video. Here we've got our doors all stacked up to air dry overnight. And a shot of them going through the through the sander. We have reached the point in this build where fabrication is complete. Cabinets are done. We've got this table full. We got some pre-assembled crown. We've got our doors, our shelves, some base moldings, some scribe molding. I'm not going to zoom up on it, but there's our clipboard list, punch list items that have all been completed. And we're uh, ready to clean this up and move on to the finishing. Quick look at the paint room, this current built-in project. Got everything primed. It's all been sanded, cleaned up. Anything that needed caulk has been caulked. Ready to start the top coat. And the shot of our primer and our paint of choice for most of our projects. Uh, again, we've got a full video on our paint setup as well. And here we've got a few different time lapse videos. Me in the paint room, spraying cabinets, spraying the parts. So after we've sprayed our primer, sanded everything, prepped everything, we'll spray two top coats, uh, sometimes a third if need be. All right, everything for this project is now out of paint ready for doors. So we'll get our doors on, we'll get all our shelves packed up, we'll get everything uh, all prepared to be loaded for the upcoming install. As mentioned, here we're getting our doors on using a handy little block with a clamp, clamp to the cabinets, kind of acts as a third hand, makes things much easier. And now it's the morning of the install. We're getting everything loaded up in the trailer Get it all packed in and secured, ready to hit the road. And now we're on site, ready to start the installation. As you might imagine, we start from the bottom up, removing our baseboard trim, installing our base cabinets, getting our countertop installed, pausing here to go ahead and finish up anything down low, trim, uh, shelves, etc. We move upward, getting our uppers set, anchored to the wall. We had our crown molding on. Start setting shelves, and doing our touch-up, filling holes, caulking, touch-up paint. And there you have it. That's pretty much our process from start to finish. How we design, build, finish, and install a completed set of built-ins. This is pretty much our process for every job. So again, thank you for watching. Hopefully you find it useful, and uh, be sure to subscribe. Thank you.